on the News Channel 5 Network. This is Sportsline. Hey there, Sportsline on your television. Steve Lavin here with you. Glad you are here with us on this Tuesday night on News Channel 5 Plus. Big show planned for you tonight. We're going to get to Cam Newbauer, the new Florida head women's basketball coach, coming up in the second half of the hour. He obviously did such a great job at Belmont. The story broke yesterday right here on News Channel 5. And we'll get to Cam Newbauer's first day down in Gainesville, Florida. Huge move to go to an SEC school. But also, this is opening week for racing at the Fairgrounds Speedway here in Nashville. Such a great, great track. If you like racing in this area, go on out, check them out. First event this weekend on a Sunday. That's a little bit different from past schedules. A Sunday start this year and Tony Formosa, our buddy from Fairground Speedway, puts everything on over there. Track promoter, a uh, man of many hats. It's great to have you back. It's always Well, it's always good to be back. Thanks for having us. And um, uh, 60th season, uh, our golden season, and uh, things are bigger and better than every than ever. Uh, we have um, a, a lot of big news, a lot of nice things to tell you about. Yeah. Uh, um, I think that uh, we have some things tonight that we can tell the fans about. You don't even have to be a racing fan to come out and see what we're getting ready to tell you. Well, it's always exciting, that's for sure. First race of the year coming up. First race of the 60th season, as you said. You've got the egg hunt coming up on Sunday as well. So Sunday race to start. What's behind that? Well, what's the deal with going on Sunday this year? Well, you know, we we actually it was Scott Bochetta's idea, and uh, Scott Bochetta is is uh, is uh, our biggest sponsor sure. at the Speedway, and and we're bringing back the super trucks this year, and and you know the weather has just been. You never know what to expect, so. We were anticipating on it maybe being a little bit cool, and uh, we just felt like uh, that starting it, uh, we, we, we're going to do some practice and some qualifying on Saturday. The admission's going to be free for that, and then uh, we're going to roll over to Sunday and, and run a race. So we thought uh, that, uh, you know, opening the uh, uh, grandstands at, at 12 o'clock and having our first green flag at uh, at uh, 2 o'clock uh, would be uh, nice for the fans, and uh, hopefully we'll have really nice weather. It's supposed to be beautiful Sunday. Yeah, so. and it kind of mirrors the schedule of a lot of, I guess, NASCAR fans would see on a typical Sunday throughout the course of the year, so that's fun. $10 admission, as always, $5 for children four and under are free you can get a pit pass for 30 bucks as well so so much that you can do big machine family day and as we mentioned the easter egg hunt yeah we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a gigantic easter egg hunt <laughs> we've had um a lot of the racers a lot of the fans a lot of the marketing partners and sponsors and whatnot have just really came on board and helped us we have somewhere in close to ten thousand easter eggs and one of them course is going to have a hundred dollar bill in it and they're going to be several to have fifty dollar bills and twenty dollar bills so that'll be a great for the kids you know we 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 set our sights on on family atmosphere and uh so uh first green flag drops sunday at 1 30 and uh the easter egg hunt i don't really know what time that i i, I, I take that that will be at our intermission so probably around four o'clock will be our easter egg hunt a lot of families will want to be there for that, I am sure. You mentioned it briefly. The Super Trucks are returning after nine years. After Tell nine us about years. that. Well, you know, we've, we've, we've really struggled in the uh, course of Pro Late Model Division. We have the biggest car count in the country with that. And uh, Scott Borchetta, Big Machine Records, has been a sponsor uh, on board for, for a long time with us on that. But uh, Clayton and James, uh, uh, Tennessee Whiskey is a new... Um, uh, brand of Tennessee whiskey that uh, is is going to be handled exclusively um, by the Fairground Speedways and uh, Scott Borchetta is behind that. So they've stepped up to the plate and Scott and I talked about paying big purses and, and, and that would bring a lot of uh, cars in and a lot of interest and uh, a lot of trucks in. So that's what we did and we now have 31 entries and there's seven, several uh, teams that haven't even registered yet, so it wouldn't surprise me to see a 25 or 30 truck field. That's something that hasn't been seen in nine years. So uh, that's uh, that's something that we have uh, had a mixture of cars and trucks over the years. Now it's going to just all be trucks again. Wow. 
That will certainly be interesting for a lot of people out there. We talked about it last year that the car count was going up uh, big time towards the end of the season. Where do you stand in terms of, uh, I guess, the interest from the drivers at the start of the 2017 year? Well, you know, the fairground speedways, as, as I've always said, is the most historic track in the country. It's the second oldest. And you have so many people, so many drivers that have that have come to the fairground speedways for their start. And everybody wants to race at the fairground speedways. There's yep. not a driver in the, in the United States of America that does not want to race and win at the fairground speedways. It's a perfect size track, perfect challenge for man and machine. Uh, the layout of it, the location of it right here in, in uh, Nashville, Tennessee is just great. So, you know, it's 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 a track where everybody wants to try, everybody wants to win. Of course, we give away the famous guitar, you know, for the fairground speedways and, and whatnot. And, uh, and there's just no end to to the people that want to come here and race and, and, and whatnot. So it's, it's just always been a gigantic stepping stone. You, you can go all the way back to Dale Earnhardt Jr. This is where he made his start. Uh, Davey Allison, Bobby Allison. Uh, sure. All the NASCAR stars started here and brought their brought their kids here, you know, and their grandkids here, and uh, so. And some you know, of them, like Sterling Marlin, come back and race just absolutely for the heck of it now. Absolutely, and uh, and and do a great job, you know, doing that. So uh, it's just uh, it's it's always been a great place, a great track. Uh, the size of it, the layout of it, what makes it so great, a number of things. Uh, so. Uh, Everyone wants to uh, wants to race there, and for the third year in a row, we are completely pre-sold out of parking spots. The last two races of, of 2016, Steve, we were parking race cars in the parking lot, and they were actually driving them in. We ran completely out of parking spots, even out back. That's a nice problem to have. It really is. It's 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 unheard of, but it, it is it is it's really awesome. So, 60th season. How do you plan to make this one the best yet? Well, we have a lot of big things that have fell into place for us. Um, we have some young drivers, and uh, one of them sitting right here beside me right now, that is the youngest driver in the history of Fairground Speedways. He has um, uh, been running the carts, the, uh, the quarter midgets, winning a lot of races in that. He's 11 years old, and he has his sights set for becoming a champion. His dad's a former late models champion and I think uh, 2008 Andy Johnson Chase's dad won the championship and uh, so uh, he's come there it's it's really something to see a kid 11 years old to get in a full body rear wheel drive race car and manhandle it around that quarter mile track which is also one of the hardest tracks in the country to drive but not only that but has a sight set toward being a stepping stone for professional racing career so uh, we have a lot of young guns that are coming in I think we have uh, we have 12 kids right now Oliver Cordell um, and just many many more that are under 18 years old we we, we have rejuvenated the kitty corp uh, which goes all the way back to the 70s and uh, with that with the super trucks we got so many things going on with uh, um, with with just everything, uh, the 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 front runner division. We have a record uh, re pre-registered. We have like close to 50 front runner cars that are already pre-registered. We may have to break that class up in an A class and a B class and run two divisions. So uh, uh, the quarter mile cars that have been racing on eight inch tires for for almost two decades, they're going to to 10 inch takeoff tires from pro late models and super trucks down to the quarter mile. So they've got a lot more grip, a lot more speed. You're gonna see a lot more co competition improvement. They're gonna be racing side by side, door to door. It's just, um, I could just go on and on and on and on and on and tell you the things that we're gonna use to make the 60th season the greatest season of all. The competition is stiff and the action is fantastic at Fairground Speedway. We're going to get to Chase Johnson coming up in our next segment to talk about the youngest driver that you can put on the track out there. But first, before our break, let's go to the phones and Mike. Mike, good evening. You're on with Tony. How you doing? Doing well. Thanks for the call. Uh, yes, I was wondering uh, how you all set up for wheelchairs and scooters. 
Well, that's a good question, and thanks for calling and, and asking us. We have a handicap section, and uh, which is equipped with all the ramps and everything. It is uh, as you come in the the main entrance of the speedway in the tunnel uh, onto the concourse. If you will take the next to the last ramp, it will take you right up to the handicap section, and you'll have complete access to handicap wheelchair access and 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 seating so uh, we're we're very well equipped for that we also have uh, uh, handicap restrooms in the facility that uh, accommodate all the handicap personnel excellent Mike anything else That's all. Thank you very all much. right thank you very much for the call it is a great place to go out and watch a race and hopefully a lot of people will do that coming up this weekend on Sunday, the start to the 60th season at the Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. As Tony mentioned, grandstand gates open at noon. Racing starts with the green flag at 1.30 on Sunday. $10 general admission, $5 for kids, and four and under free out there at the Fairgrounds Speedway. we got to take a break. When we come back, we will get to one of the rising stars at Fairgrounds Speedway, plus more with Tony. So stay with us. You're watching Sportsline on News Channel 5+. Plus.